Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a viewer's request. Moist cookies and they're also called peanut butter balls. So if you're interested in knowing how to make these, let's get started. So what I got here is some peanut butter and butter. I'm going to share the recipe as well in under this video for you to have. But right here is one cup of peanut butter. I'm just using the smooth peanut butter. You can have crunchy, low fat, whatever you got available. I'm going to also be using a quarter of a cup of butter. You can also use margarine. So what you do first is just blend these two in together just to get it all combined. So the reason why we call them mice cookies, they're shaped like little mice. Now certainly these are edible and let's uh, we won't even go there on the other little, little critters. But you can also shape them just in a ball shape and then they're, they're a little more appealing. But it doesn't matter, I'm going to show you both. We got one cup of coconut, so that's one cup of unsweetened coconut. We got one cup of confectionery sugar, that's your powdered icing sugar. Now what we're going to do is blend that in together. So all you need to do is just mix all of this together until it's all combined. And then after we'll add in our Rice Krispies. But if you're doing this at home and you want to put these this much first in your your mixer or your food processor, you can do that and then take it out to mix in the Rice Krispies. So that's all you need to do there. So now we're going to be adding in two cups of Rice Krispies. And all you need to do there is just fold it on in through. Doesn't matter about crunching them. Just don't do this part in the mixer. Do this part with your spoon or your hand. When you got the Rice Krispies all in through like that, if it's a little soft, you could put it in the fridge and let it start to uh, go hard again. But if not, just put it to the side and now I'm going to chop up some nuts. So what I got here are some full walnuts. You could use whatever type of nut that you enjoy eating and this pretty much make it really nice and fine like this and then we're going to dump that in with our mixture okay so that's all you need to do there so after when you finish with that we'll dump that in with our mixture and I'm going to say this is about a quarter or a third of a cup of nuts you could use whatever amount you want or leave it out all together that's entirely up to you so mix that on in through now what I'm going to do now is put on a pair of disposable gloves and we're going to shape these little cookies into mice and into little balls so this here is about two tablespoonfuls and you just shape it almost the shape of an egg really but that's, that's what they'll look like and that's why they're called mice cookies but if you don't want them shaped like a mice and you want them shaped like a ball you can just go like that and I'm gonna let you decide these make makes about 16 or, or even 20 of the ball shapes but there'll be less if you're making it the shape of a mice and then after when we get all these made um, what you can do you can put these in the fridge to cool down a little bit just to get that peanut butter going solid again or so that we can dip it in some chocolate and I'll show you how to do that, the double baller chocolate melting. Now this is a perfect recipe to make with your grandkids or your kids because at Christmas time is when we used to make these with our boys and this was fun because we'd all get there and we'd be making different shapes and, and then the chocolate of course. So now what we'll do, we'll put the double boiler going to melt down the chocolate but that's what your moist cookies look like and the little balls. 
So what you're going to need for your double boiler is a bowl that's snug on top of your saucepan or your boiler and so that no steam will be released from the side. You're going to need a bag of chocolate chips, the semi-sweetened chocolate and or if you don't want to use chocolate chips use the baker's chocolate and is two blocks in here. You just break it up, put it into your pan and then start the heat on a medium heat. Toss in your chocolate chips. So when your saucepan uh, starts to heat up, just make sure that you've got a grip on your bowl and no steam is coming up. You see it's starting to melt there. Just keep going like this, stirring it until it's all melted. So then you're going to keep mixing like this until you see all of the chocolate chips or the black chocolate. You can use dark or light. And then we're going to start dipping our mice cookies and our peanut butter balls in. So after you've got it melted, then you're going to take your thongs and then just dip your mice cookies into there. So you just keep going like that until they're all done. So just keep dipping all of your mice cookies and the mice or peanut butter balls into the chocolate until they're all dipped. So now I'm going to put my chocolate back over on the heat because I was trying to dip them all without having it. So I have a steady heat going on it so that there it keeps the chocolate nice and soft. I get some done here in advance and they're nice and cold because I had them put in the refrigerator. I'll talk a little bit about that. And then this is the ones that we just dipped. I'm gonna show you these. So after you've dipped them and they're set, they're gonna look like this on the bottom. And of course they're nice and solid, inside is crispy and the outside has got that beautiful taste of chocolate. This is a dark chocolate, of course this is a chocolate chip. One that's a little lighter, is a medium brown, but this is it, as good as it gets. I'm going to say a big thank you to our viewer that requested to make these moist cookies today and of course they're also called peanut butter balls and like at Christmas time we would make these all the time. I can't remember really making them any other time of the year unless it was a special occasion but if your kids and your grandkids helped you with this they would love it. I'm also going to share the recipe with you at the bottom of this video and the subscribe button is there if you haven't already done so. We thank you for doing that as well. We got peanut butter cups on our uh, channel as well that I'll share that link if you want access to that recipe. But you can view any of our recipes anytime on www.bonitaskitchen.com right here on YouTube or join us on our Facebook page. So thank each and every one of you for joining us today, taking the time out of your busy day to watch us make these mice cookies as well, peanut butter balls. From our kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day. Mm, so good.